Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I will introduce you what is badang Badang also mean Nyiru, ayak, tampian, tampah and penampi The body is usually made of bamboo or rotan Oval or round in shape Closely woven And the frame of badang is made from bamboo stick In the east coast states Padang is also known as Niru. The body has different names, types and shape depending on the type of material used as well as it used. The shape available are round, oval and triangular. Okay, next we go to the figure detail. In this research, it was conducted using qualitative research method, namely using oral history techniques by interviewing badang waving art figure to obtain study information. The figure that we interviewing is Puan Fatimah Binti Hassan. She is a skilled figure in production and manufacture of bamboo waving. She is 65 years old and has ventured into the field of handicraft production traditionally based on this bamboo weaving in 1980s. Okay, now we go to the history part of Badang. In the past, woven tray often been used in Malay community who live in village near the paddy field. Badang is oval in shape that is made from bamboo bark and is used by farmer to sift the paddy which is to separate the paddy from the husk this process also known as rice winding in the past waving badang was said to be done by women to fill their free time only and not as a main job badang was made from fine cut bamboo and this bamboo was taken from the forest near to the village until this day, badang is still being used by a community in our country, Malaysia. Next, we move to the current development of badang. Badang is commonly produced from the process of weaving of mengkuang. It could be decorated with various motifs that display the connection between the environment and humans. Earlier, Rattan was used to produce essentials such as woven baskets so that it could be used to collect crops. Nowadays, the use of badang can still be maintained. In fact, there are various of current development that made by people using badang. The first is wedding gift tray. Badang has still become people's choice and some of them are interested in making it as a gift tray. It can be used during an engagement or wedding ceremony, even if you only use it as a base. But it can still look classy if the color chosen is matching with the arrangement of decorations. It proves that badang has its specialties that will not easily be forgotten. Next is rack or plate. Badang is also used as a plate or container to serve food. This can be revealed by certain restaurants such as Diniru restaurant in Malacca. They use badang as a replacement for glass plates to serve the food. In addition, people also use it as a rack to store or put groceries such as onions. This confirms that badang is still relevant in society especially in urban areas. Other than that is wall decoration. Apart from the wedding gift tray and plate, badang could also be used as wall decoration. Previously, badang had only one design which is specific to safe paddy. However, as time passes by, badang has been designed in various colors and shapes to be used as decoration on the walls of houses, homestays and many more. The way it would be arranged is according to an individual's preferences and creativity. Now let's move on to the tools needed to produce a badang. There are five main tools to be used to make a badang. The first is a knife or specifically called a parang. It is used to cut the semelian bamboo that is suitable for making a badang. The second is pisau rawit. The purpose of using pisau rawit is to finely cut the bamboo and make it thin according to the preferred size. The third is penyepit tunukera. The use of penyepit tunukera is to fasten or clamp the bamboo frame. The frame is made from bulu minyak. The fork is a tool to punch a hole on the badang. The 
tool looks like a screwdriver with a sharp and sharp tip on it. Lastly, is a rope. The function is to tie or fasten the frame. According to Fatih Mahasan, there are two types of bamboo used to make a badang. Firstly, Rulo Sumulia. This type of bamboo are used for weaving process because it has longer internal which is 2 to 3 feet, make it easier to cut into desired size. Secondly, is Rulo Minya. In the process of making frame, this type of bamboo are used because it has thin wall which is easier to bend. Bamboo for weaving process were cut into 2 feet 5 inch to produce 2 feet size of a badan. While for framing process, bamboo were cut into 5 feet long with diameter 1 inch. Before weaving process, the bamboo that were finally cut need to dry or air for 2 weeks. So, the weaving become weak and strong. For weaving process, cross arrangement technique was used. This technique requires efficient handwork to avoid any mistake occurs during weaving process. When making a mistake, cross arrangement process needs to be done again because the wrong technique will ruin the whole arrangement. This cross arrangement must be closed together to prevent the materials coming out when using. 158 to 200 fine cutting bamboo were used to produce one badam. The steps of weaving process, which is cross arrangement, are leaf 2 over leaf 3, leaf 4 over leaf 3, then repeat the process. Each overlap must be only 3 for the bottom. To leave the top are 2 and 4 only. This is because the thickness of a bada is 3 layers. To make a frame, two finely cut bamboo are need for one bada. The weaving of clarai bada is in the middle and is flanked by two finely cut bamboo that already bent into round or oval shape for the process of tying the weaving of clarai bada to the frame. The weave is clamped to the frame using clamp to facilitate the sewing process to attach the weave to the frame. A screwdriver is used to make a hole in the frame before the sewing process. Eel bone are used to close hole made for stitch. The eel bone that are tied crosswise are the last process for weaving. This is the last process. The badang that will finally complete the pro other process need to be smoked through fire. So the badang will become strong and last longer.